Good morning. This is Dr. Poon Narula from Nova Diagnostic Center. Today I want to share a good case with you. And I want to tell you the importance of all the SOPs and steps which should, be, which should be followed during any investigation or any imaging. And if you are doing all the steps in a particular manner, you will not be able to miss any diagnosis. So this is a 30 year old gentleman who came to us with the mild wake less head chest pain for last one and a half year and he came to us for echocardiography and uh, ultrasound abdomen and uh, he was taking treatment for gastritis since last one and a half year so uh, I did the ultrasound the abdomen which was within normal limits then I did the echo on echo what we saw was a four chamber view so this is a four chamber view that you can see the four chamber view appears to be normal the ventricles the atrials they appear to be normal the mitral valve tricuspid valve appears to be normal the flow across it appears to be within normal limits the pulmonary veins appear to drain to the left ventricle, the LVOT, RVOT appears to be normal. But then after completing all these views, I went up with my last view of aortic arch view. So never to miss that view. I And this is what I found, that the velocities, uh, that the velocities across the aortic arch were increased. It was 3.8 meters per second or 380 centimeters per second with a gradient of 57.80 mm of mercury, which was suggestive of some narrowing or obstruction at the level of aortic arch so i went down to see for the flow distilled to it in the renal arteries where i saw the pulp uh, which are where i saw the dampened flow or the tardus powers kind of a waveform in the renal arteries i went in for the descending aorta where again i saw the dampened flow i advised patient the ct angiography and the patient uh, uh, was ready for ct angiography and then during when the patient was getting ready for the CT angiography, I took the BP of the patient, the BP of the upper limb and the lower limb, and the, the patient was significantly hypertensive, and there was a difference in the BP of the upper limb and lower limb, so I was more closer to my diagnosis of coarctation of iota. So then the angiography was done, and this is what we saw. So these are the beautiful, these are the, these are the beautiful angiography images that you can see, starting from the origin to the bifurcation of the iota. And what we saw was there was a narrowing at, uh, at the level of the arch of aorta distal to the origin of the left subclavian artery. And so this was a post-ductal type of coarctation of aorta. So uh, we made the diagnosis and uh, the, the patient now needs further management for this. And one more thing that we can observe in this is that the left vertebral artery is originating directly from the arch of aorta just proximal to the origin of the left subclavian artery. So, uh, I mean, this is the importance of, uh, this is a small thing that we should keep in mind. We should follow all the steps. We should follow all the steps. We should follow all the SOPs during uh, our imaging. Thank you and have a nice day.